Welcome back to Soul Moon Rising. I am Jennifer, and today we're going to talk about the root chakra. Yes, I know if you watched the previous video, we're going all totally wonky from everybody else. Most people go top to bottom, bottom to top. We're going all over the place just to keep you on your toes. So today, root chakra. If you have not already watched the chakra intro video that I did, I will post a link right up here that you can watch either before or after. It doesn't matter. So let's get to it. Now, where is the root chakra located? Okay, we did go over this in our, our intro video, but just for a refresher, or if you haven't watched it yet, the root chakra is located debatingly between the bottom of the spine and the bottom of your feet. One of the two places or anywhere in between. So just depends on who you talk to on where they say it's located at. You can take care of your root chakra anywhere in that area with the same great effect. So what does the root chakra control? Okay, so emotionally, it controls things like um, your sense of security. It controls your sexuality. It controls reproductive system and pretty much everything from your hips down is what the root chakra controls, um, both physically, emotionally, um, and spiritually. Okay, so now what does an underactive root chakra look like? Underactive will be things like um, feelings of insecurity. You may have um, reproductive issues. You may be severely underweight or chronically unorganized. Now, I'm not talking about like hoarding, but a lot of artists are this way. So you get, um, they have organized piles on their desk. I am totally guilty of this. You'll have a pile here and a pile here and a pile here, and you know exactly which pile it's in, but to anybody else, who comes in there, they cannot find anything. Uh, my husband would totally um, back me up on that. My my office looks like a bomb went off, but I know exactly where everything is at. Um, I personally have to constantly keep my root chakra in check and um, just do maintenance on it. Some more things would be like um, lethargy or um, fear of change, lots of things that are associated with your security. So you might be, um, you know, unhappy in your job. Maybe you feel like, um, they don't like you there or it's just not secure for you. So that's kind of what an underactive root chakra looks like. Now on the opposite end, an overactive root chakra is going to be somebody who constantly overeats, who craves unhealthy foods. So if all you ever want is fast food, you may have a root chakra issue. Um, and it's, you know, fairly simple to fix. And we'll get into that in just a minute. Other things would be like, um, this is where your hoarders come in. So you're constantly hanging on to everything. You can't let go of anything. Um, they're very, not necessarily materialistic, but um, they they very much hang on to everything material because for them, it's a sign of security that they have this stuff for them to use in case anything happens. Um, another thing would be your sense of um, safety isn't there. Um, maybe dominant behavior. So these could be overly aggressive people. Um, if you are overly sexual, it could be a root chakra issue. Now, the happy medium, the balance of the root chakra. So these are people that are going to have a healthy appetite, a healthy amount of energy. Now, I'm not saying that you have to be one of those perky morning people because I can tell you for a fact, I am not a perky morning person. 
I do drink my morning cup of green tea. I'm not a coffee person. Um, I know I'll probably get a lot of flack for that, but I don't like coffee. I love the smell of it, but I don't like the flavor. Um, but I do have my morning cup of green tea. I don't need caffeine to get going, but it's nice to help wake up with a nice warm cup of tea. Um, other things that may show a balanced root chakra is you have that sense of security. You know you're going to be okay if something was to happen. Um, you're satisfied with basically life in general, your career, um, how everything's going. You just feel safe. Okay, so that's a balanced root chakra. Now, um, let's talk about the physical ailments you may get. So remember, the root chakra deals with the, basically the lower half of your body, from your hips down. So this could be, like I said, reproductive issues. You could have hip, hip issues, leg issues, knees, ankles, feet, toes, everything in between. It could be muscular, it could be um, skeletal, but those areas will come up with some type of issue. Maybe um, when I was a young kid, I used to get really bad Charlie horses, like really, really bad. Um, some kids get really bad growing pains. You could also maybe have um, spider veins. Um, you could have things like um, easily dislocated hips or bad knees or anything like that. It all has to do with your stability and it shows in a physical way. Okay, so how do we how do we fix this? Because obviously if we're not stable, it's not a good thing because you wanna be able to stand on your own two feet. Well, just like the crown chakra, Reiki is a great option as well as chakra clearings. So you can visit any anybody that um, does Reiki or chakra clearings. Massage is also a really great modality to help with anything muscular. Um, another th great thing, you'll hear me talk about a lot about essential oils. My personal favorite for the root chakra is this one here. I use doTERRA oils, but you can use whatever oils that you are familiar with, that you're comfortable with. Um, so most companies will have a grounding blend. That's gonna be fantastic for your root chakra. Um, it's gonna have things like uh, trees, so evergreens, um, big rooted trees. Um, also roots, so it may have grasses in it like, um, like lemongrass or vetiver or something like that. You want the, the root of the plant. Basically, we wanna be rooted for that stability, so that's what, kinda what you're looking for in essential oil. Or you can go with your crystals. So anything black or red, because red is associated with the root chakra. So in general, um, anything black, so like, where'd it go? I just had it. Um, oh, here it is. This is a piece of snowflake obsidian. Beautiful piece. Um, they're usually fairly inexpensive, especially if you go to rock shows. I got this one for like a dollar. Um, and it's it's not a thick piece, it's about a quarter of an inch thick. Um, but this is a great root chakra or red. This is a raw garnet. Um, now you can wear gem grade um, garnet jewelry and that would be awesome. Like I said, red or black. Those are gonna be associated with root chakra to help keep you in balance. You also have things like yoga. There's different poses in yoga that you can do. Um, my personal favorite, the easiest and the fastest way to get grounded is to do what's called grounding or earthing. So you take your shoes and socks off and you go walk out in the dirt, in the grass, on the, the sand, by the ocean, wherever. You just need to come in contact with the earth itself. Now, if it happens to be winter and you can't come in contact with the earth or you choose not to because you're in a cold place, there's other options. For example, um, pet stores will sell sand for like hermit crabs and stuff. You can actually put that in a bucket and use it. I have a friend that does that. There's also things like um, visuals, visualization. So you can actually imagine that say you're a tree and your roots are going down into the ground. 
that will help you feel more rooted, more grounded. And that's exactly what you want. You want to keep that stable because the root chakra is actually, um, well, if you think about it, if you're having issues with your reproductive system, a lot of times you may be having issues with your significant other. So your intimate relations may be affected by your root chakra. So it's best to keep your root chakra in check so that we can make sure to have healthy, happy, intimate relations. So next video, our next video is going to be about the brow or third eye. And yeah, that's all we have for today. So um, follow us on our social media accounts. They'll be in the description box below. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. If you'd like to, um, see more of a certain chakra, maybe more on the oils or the crystals associated with it, just let me know. And until next time, from my light to yours, namaste.